All right, next step, we'll have to create a button component. So this button component won't have state, so it will be a stateless component. I'm going to create a new folder inside of components and I'm gonna call it button. And button is going to have inside of it an index.js. All right, now I'm going to import React from React. I'm also going to import prop types from prop types. All right, and let's import React Native stuff. Import view. I'm also going to import touchable opacity. You will see what this is later, I'm sorry. And style sheet. All right, from React, oh, style sheet is not like this. Style sheet, all right, React Native. Native, lovely. All right, I will say that my functional component is button, all right? And it has some props here. The props it has is the icon name, all right? And uh, on press. On press is the function that we're going to execute when somebody presses the button. And I am going to return the touchable. Touchable opacity is a simple concept. I'll show you soon. Touchable opacity. All right. And also, I don't want to miss the opportunity to import, as you know, this font awesome from uh, expo slash vector icons, all right? And here I am going to say that I'm going to create a new font awesome icon and the name of the icon is the prop icon name. The size of the icon is going to be a 40 maybe, maybe make it bigger, 80. Let's make this a number, 80. And the color will be white, white, all right and I'm going to export default button, hell yeah. Nothing should be bad, everything should be all right, and then on my timer, I'm going to import this thing, import button from outside of this thing, button. Let's see, it's gonna refresh, no errors, all right, and buttons here is going to say button and button, all right, and for icon name, First icon name that I'm gonna create is, let's look at it. There is something, whoppa, there is something called Expo Vector Icons. And Expo Vector Icons is the directory for all the icons. So I'm going to say, I need two icons, stop and play. So I'll say play, font awesome play circle. This one, this bad boy. Or this one, this one. All right, ah, there we go. So first icon, oh, first icon is play circle like this and the other one will be stop, stop circle. All right, play circle, stop circle. And let's go to my simulator. Let's save that shit. Mm. And it looks like my simulator just abandoned me. So I have to command R, refresh. I think it's gonna load quite fast. And yeah, I'll see you when this loads. Awesome, so it's loaded now and as you can see, it looks like that. So let's go to my button component. I'm going to remove style sheet because I'm not gonna use it. And now I wanna explain to you what is uh, touchable opacity. Touchable opacity is what allows me to, as you can see here, you see, when I touch it, when I press on it, it makes, uh, it makes it more, uh, it gives it more opacity. We also have a touch, touchable highlight, which will make it more bright. And we also have touchable without feedback, which will detect the tap, but it won't do anything at all. All right, so here we want to give some feedback to the user that the icon is being tapped. So that's why we do this thing. Before we continue, 
we're gonna check for the props all right button that prop types mother types and the types is icon name must be a string and is required and on press must be a function and must and is required now here this is going to cry because the function uh, as you can see here the failed prop type on press is marked as required but is undefined and this is because we are not passing the function here so i'm going to say on press and just to fuck around a little bit i am going to create a new function alert it works just to fuck around like this is just to fuck around uh, later we're going to pass the actual function that we need to pass here right so on press and then now that we have on press we need to tell that to our lovely touchable opacity touchable opacity has a on press prop all right this one could be named potato so uh, this could be named potato but in touchable opacity the on press is actually the function that is going to be executed whenever we press it so here i say on press so let's see dismiss click alert it works click alert it works problem here is that on the iphone it's not when i press it all right it's when i let it go so i would say here on press release i broke it fuck what is it on press out sorry on press out on press out click out it works and click and out it works now on your computer clicking looks the same but on the iphone is different when you tap you don't want nothing to happen you want to tap and remove your thumb all right so now we have our button working now we are ready to start doing some redux now this looks shit of course because there's two of them it will never be like this again when it's when the timer is going we'll have a stop when the timer is stopping we have this all right awesome see you later